Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make a bouquet. Now this could be for prom, for a wedding, literally whatever you need a bouquet for. And here are my, my ones that I've made. So if you saw my uh, the day before prom video, you saw this. This is the bouquet I made for my gra or my graduation, my prom. So it has a button, some ribbon on it, and then these are just fake flowers I bought at Hobby Lobby, and then um, a few people wanted me to make theirs, so they sent me a picture of their dress. And this is kind of like what the stem looks like. Here's the button. And then this is the flowers. And I have one more to make. So I figured I'd show y'all how to make them. It's actually, it's a lot simpler than people would think it is. But I'll, yeah. <clears throat> Just in case you don't know. Like this one is literally my first one ever making. And I got so many compliments on it. But anyway, so first you're gonna need some fake flowers. You can get them literally anywhere. I got mine from Hobby Lobby. So flowers that match your dress, matches your vibe, whatever. So this girl's dress is navy blue. So I got really dark blue. And then I thought it would be fun to pop in some lighter blues so I got these and then I also like to add at least a little bit of white in there to just have a little bit more contrast um next wire cutters or whatever these are called pliers because if you don't that will happen and it's really hard to cut these with scissors so i just wouldn't recommend that okay we're back um i'm not sure where to get these i got these from my dad's toolbox so I just go to a manly store a dad store and find ones that look like this, okay? Okay. Next, some snuzzers. Yeah. Some of blo oh my gosh, stay please. It keeps falling. Some floral tape. A hot glue gun. Any size would probably work. I just have oh my gosh, the smaller one. Stop falling please thank you and then this is literally just a bag full of ribbon so i'm gonna show you the specific ribbon and button i got for this one so i have this light lighter blue ribbon this is the button i thought it was really pretty and then here's some hot glue. I got this packet for like two bucks that came with all this ribbon. So I'm gonna pick a color when we get to that step. And then I got this navy blue sparkly ribbon because her dress is has sparkles on it. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I just threw that. Okay. So first you're gonna wanna start with your bouquet or with your flowers. Normally flowers have the price tag on one of the stems. So you're gonna 
to cut that off because we don't want to be looking like trashy with the tag sticking out. Okay. Oh, there we go. So now you're going to want to pick a height for your bouquet. If it's kind of like this where it's a pre-made one, you don't really get much say in it. But I think maybe hold it. I think that's a good length anyway. And now you kind of want to pick where your different little like stem flowers are going to be. I might cut each one of these off and just place them in different areas. So now you're going to take your cutters. Again, not too sure what these are called. Bro, one of my petals or one of my flower heads just fell off. Anyway, I'm going to cut it. See? It's a lot easier than trying to do it with scissors. Trust me. And now what I like to do to kind of make this process and especially wrapping them a little bit easier is to hot glue these onto the big stem. So, and trust me, doing it this way yourself, A, you have a little bit more of creative freedom with how your bouquet looks, and it's a lot cheaper than getting a like a real bouquet. And then I'm gonna cut out these white flowers again, just for a little bit of ow, something. If I can get it. The cut, maybe these are like really thin so I don't know if that's gonna cut it um, oh sorry I just smacked you oh I could don't don't try to rip it don't don't oh <laughs> oh Oops. Well, like I was saying. Maybe don't do that. But, you know, it worked out fine. Can you just cut this? Please. Okay. And then you kind of want to find a little spot to maybe hide the glue and where the glue is gonna go so find a place with maybe a lot of leaves maybe if the hot glue would work Sorry, I have the hardest time, like, putting in a new glue stick. Because, like, it never wants to stay. Kind of like how this flower doesn't want to stay. Like this one. Yeah. Kind of hide it a little bit. And just kind of scatter them, really. So that's what it's looking like so far. And again, she can manipulate this however she wants. Now time for a kind of 
confusing and hard part. That's the floral, floral tape. Now to get this stuff to work, you have to stretch it a bit. And what I find, or what I found was easiest. So I think I'm gonna start up here. What I found the easiest was to stretch it and then kind of, oh, roll the flowers in my hand. And then I did like, I think two layers, which for this one, I might need three, especially up here. So just roll. Get it as tight as you possibly can because you don't want any of these flowers to be moving around. And then it's also going to make it easier to get your ribbon on. So we're just rolling. Rolling. Oh! Just so there's a little bit more space to decorate. Okay. So you see how there's like a little bit of extra bit? It's fine. Because all you got to do is just bam. Cut it. And there we go. So now time for the ribbon. Which is the funnest and easy or funnest and hardest part. So what I'm thinking is to wrap this all around and then maybe this in the middle, then find another one, put that in the middle, glue the button on. We'll see. So how I liked or how I like to do this is to just get a random length and hope that it's enough. If it's not enough, I can always grab more. Not too big of a deal. This is a new thing of ribbon. Okay. And you wanna go super slow and tight with this, okay? Oh. So I like to glue the first line just straight on there. Okay, and then we're going to get it as close to the top as possible. And then tight, glue again. Oh, she's slipping. She is slipping. Honestly, that's, that might be enough glue to hold. Okay, now we're gonna go, oh no, I messed it up. Ribbon is like one of those things that's like so hard to manipulate because like it just, it wants to do its own thing. It does. So maybe if I just take it layer, layer by layer, it will work out better for me. Cut. A little piece of the ribbon okay glue it on there just 
like this so it's covered and then cut around it to make it look all nice and neat. So it's gonna look like that. I don't honestly Little question. And then glue up the sides. This is a nice ribbon. Okay. Again, just kind of guesstimate how much you're going to need. If you need more, you can always glue on more. So we're going to glue right here. That on to the middle. Oh, I don't think I need to do two rows. I thought I was, I thought I might. I was gonna have to do two, three rows of this, but I don't. I'm trying to make it as tight as I possibly can. Ow. Hurt myself. So now we're going to pick a ribbon. So I'm going to fold this ribbon. Hopefully I got enough. Yeah. So I'm just going to glue the inside a little bit and just Fold it down. Glue the inside. Fold it down. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're not looking for perfection. We're looking for good enough. Boom. Folding it. Ow! My eyes are so profound. Okay. So now we're just gonna glue it on. Glue it on to the center of the blue ribbon we just put down. The lighter blue ribbon, I should say. And then we're gonna pick the ugliest place. And that's where we're gonna put our button to kind of hide how ugly it is. I kind of like to Whenever I'm la or doing ribbons like this, I kind of like to overlap it a tiny little bit so I can have, I oh, know, I didn't think this one through. Okay, there we go. Oops, that looks ugly. That's where we put the button. 
Ow. Ow. Ah! So we're gonna put the button in the ugliest spot, which is normally like the front where you connected the two sides of the ribbon together. Cause I can just, I can't make it ever look seamless. So this is the last step. Now the button is optional, but I think it just adds a little pizzazz. It, bud. There. Oh. So, where did I say? Right here. Button. Bunch of hot glue. I mean, you want to drench this thing in hot glue. Okay. A lot. And then you stick it on and you hold it. And you just build up the glue from there. So that it has a base. Okay. So this and you want to get all the little stringies off course. Just make it look all nice. And then we're done. And we're done. So this is what that looks like. And then the flowers. And that's it. Thank you, Sam.